This year Diwali festival won't be too good for China in terms of Diwali related sales. Reason for this is China is bound to lose around 10 billion dollars in trade with India. Yes, you heard that right. 10 billion dollars. How it happened? Why it happened? We will explore in depth in this video. My goal in creating these videos is not just to tell the news, but also try to connect all the dots from geopolitical, geoeconomic standpoint and cover all the angles to the story and provide a 360 degree perspective. These videos take some time to make and all in return I ask is make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. This not only provides me the encouragement to make more videos but also as a viewer you can also express your thoughts by liking or commenting on this and help me build an engaging community. Coming back to the story, China is poised to lose around 10 billion dollars. First, let's address how China is making money during Indian festivals. During Diwali time, every household in India spends quite a bit of money on shopping clothes, firecrackers, jewelry and danteras, gifts and lots of household items as appliances uh, due to huge Diwali discounts. Where do you think many of these goods are coming from? You guessed it right, China. As India celebrates festivals, China enormously profits. This situation is not unique to India given China is the world's manufacturing hub. Most of the countries find themselves in similar situation. China's Diwali related supplies include LED lights, decorative lights, diyas, gift items, utensils, decorative items, firecrackers, etc. When I was a kid, most of the firecrackers used to be manufactured in uh, Sivakasi in Tamil Nadu. But now if you look at any of the firecrackers, most of them are coming from China. That's how much China dominates the uh, Indian market. Trade between India and China touched all-time high of $136 billion uh, in the year 2022. While China's exports to India stood at a staggering $118.5 billion, India's export to China is a meager $18 billion. So there is that huge gap of $100 billion trade deficit between India and China in 2022. It's like last year, $100 billion uh, just uh, went to China. Scoffers. Now let's look at what factors led uh, China to lose uh, $10 billion. With the Modi's uh, government in its ninth year, nationalism it at its peak and many analysts around the world have said that uh, India is one of the very few countries and uh, Modi as one of the very few leaders who have sustained the nationalism for so long. Prime Minister Modi is trying to capitalize on that nationalism sentiment uh, this Diwali by coming out with uh, schemes like uh, vocal for local and uh, nari se karidari schemes. The vocal for local campaign urges Indians to support indigenous products, fostering economic growth and self-reliance. The initiative encourages citizens to prioritize and promote locally made goods, empowering domestic industries. And Nari Se Karidari is a scheme where Indians are urged to support women who are trying to sell Diwali decoration items or approach someone who is good in stitching clothes or can sell a sari of your choice. Needless to say, both these schemes have been massively hit not only with the consumers, but even with the traders who prominently supported the schemes by showcasing made in India products. Now let's get into the geopolitical and geoeconomic angle to this. With China's economic rise and military might, many countries in the world are trying to shift away from China's industrial dependency. That's why many of the Western companies are shifting away from a, a portion of the China-related industry to India and other Southeast Asian countries. Imagine if India itself is dependent on China where its trade deficit is at around $100 billion. How will it convince other countries to invest in India's manufacturing? India is trying to set itself as an example by reducing its China-related import so it can showcase how it can be an alternative to China 
in terms of manufacturing. As I understand, nothing happens in isolation. Western countries, especially US, has already decided that India will be its choice of industrial partner to counter China. And hence you saw that Biden and Modi along with MBS promoted the blueprint of India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor where goods originated from India will reach Europe and beyond going through Middle East and Israel. US is trying to hit two birds with one stone countering China's industrial might and BRI project using India and tightly integrating Israel with the Middle Eastern economies for lasting peace in the region. Although right now there are a lot of questions on IMEC project due to Israel-Palestine conflict, once a dust settles, things will be put back on track. This Diwali loss is one small step in the direction to counter China. What do you think? Will India be able to replace China as the industrial might with the help of US and other Western countries? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more interesting content. Until next time, stay curious.